Oh, yeah, just bringing it back to some classic chipper here at the North Park Stadium, starting with those 10 pig flips into 25 chest to bar pull ups, 50 toes to bar, 100 wall ball shots, and then work your way back. 270 total reps, 18 minute time cap. Your recipe for success delivered by Trifecta. Be wary of your rest time. We're going to take some breaks, some intentional breaks, but keep an eye on the clock. You can lose time when it comes to big sets and big breaks. And save some for the turn. Those last 10 pig flips are going to decide that they win. Let's send it down to Nikki Brazier. Yeah, this is the return of the pig down here. This is the fifth year that we've seen the pig show up at the CrossFit Games. And this is the point in competition where we get to see how much experience matters. The pig was not in the warm-up area. So for many of these these rookie athletes, it may be the first time that they ever get a chance to flip the pig. We'll see if any of the returning games athletes have an easier time on the way down and on the way back. Two heats of 20 women here in test number two, the second of three tests that the individuals will face here on day number two. Olivia Kerstetter will be in lane eight, one of the youngest competitors here in the field, a former teenage champion making her individual debut. But one of the strongest in the field that in 2021, she had the heaviest snatch of any athlete out here on the floor. Uh, Bethany Flores making her return uh, to the CrossFit Games. She's been battling some back problems this season. This is the heaviest implement right now that she will lift that we know of. So we'll be keeping an eye on her, especially in the opening portion of this test. Ten flips on that 350 pound pig. And down in lane number four is Abigail Domit. She's out early here, as are Emily Turner and Olivia Kirsten. Show when you look at a down and back chipper in this pyramid style, these first 10 flips, we said this before the year, it's not going to win you the test, but it will potentially blow you up for the middle gymnastics portions. There is a, look, it's heavy. We think about the back, we think about the posterior chain and the glutes and hamstrings and back erectors, but what this does to your grip, if you do not have good technique, will wreck the rest of this test, especially with the 150 reps of gymnastics we have on the pull-up rig after this. Kerstetter and Sydney Wells in lanes 8 and 14. So take a look at Olivia Kerstetter. Now one thing with Kerstetter is she's the youngest athlete in the field. She's been dominating the team division for the last couple of years, qualified for the first time individually, known a lot for her strengths, but she's got a decent engine. She won the worldwide quarterfinal test of that 20 minute AMRAP of the Road GHGs and VMs. 25 chest to bar pull ups now. Olivia Kerstetter in the blue top and gray shorts will be the first to start those. And now Sydney Wells moving to the pull up bar and Ellie Turner as well, and then down in lane number 20, Michelle Bazdet is done with her 10 pig flips. 270 total reps. Keep an eye on our scoring hat. Your leader in the heat will have her name on the far left side, and the number in the white box will indicate how many repetitions that woman has completed. The number in the white box next to everyone else's name will indicate how many reps they are behind of the leader. Kirk Sitter open with a set of 15. Then finished with a set of 10, so she's at 35 reps plus the 10 pig flips she was doing, so she's going to advance to those 50 toes to bar. Kerstetter getting to work on the toes to bar. But the 85 rep mark is when she will move to the wall balls. Sydney Wells and Bethany Flores sit in second and third. Victoria Campos is moved into the top five as well. Kirk Center with a set of 10 to open things up. And you gotta be careful not to get wrapped up into the moment and the people around you. 50 toes to bar for these elite athletes may not seem like a lot, but when you double it on the backside of 100, plus the additional totality of the 50 chest to bar pull-ups, almost look at the bulk set as the way you approach these movements rather than their individual broken up sets. Ellie Turner on the right side of your screen is on the toes to bar. Have to complete 50 reps here. And Sydney Wells is now pulled even with Olivia Kerstetter. Ellie Turner in lane seven is an athlete to keep your eye on. Once we get to the wall ball portion, 
of this test. 100 reps, 14 pound ball to a nine foot target. That is so short for these elite athletes. Last year, they had to go to a higher target when we're thinking about that test called hat trick, which she crushed when she cycled those wall balls. Kerstetter has 20 reps remaining in the set of 50. Sydney Wells looking to overtake Kerstetter for the lead in this first of two heats. Wells making her first career appearance here at the CrossFit Games. We're used to seeing her twin sister competing here. Brooke Wells, who's done extremely well here at the CrossFit Games, did not qualify this year. Bethany Flores on the right side. Now your leader, once she hits the 85 rep mark, she will be done. Flores will now be the first to the wall balls. And people may forget because she's been injured or you know missed competition over the last couple of years, but going into the 2021 season, it was her, Carrie Pierce, and Danielle Brandon who were all in the mix of being podium contenders in 2021. Of course, she missed after not being able to compete on a medical withdrawal, but Bethany has been imp greatly improving over the couple of years, taking fifth this year at her semifinal in a very casual way. And she can keep her all together. She's a dangerous athlete out there. Flores and Wells are the only two women on the wall balls right now. Once they hit the 185 rep mark, as Flores now has 83, now 82 before she'll get there, they'll turn back and go back through the chipper. Set a 20 for Flores. When you look at the middle portion of this shot, 100 wall ball shots, everyone's like, all right, we went from the uh, the pulling, grippy stuff to the legs. And it's usually the legs that are not the problem when it comes to cycling high volume wall ball shots. The amount of upper body fatigue and interference in this test, from the pig flips, to the chest to bar, to the toes to bar, the shoulders and biceps when it comes to these wall ball shots are what usually limits people's ability to do big sets. Shelby Neal is the athlete who's right there with Sydney Wells. Now Emma McQuaid on the right side with Bethany Flores. Flores still your leader on the left through 122 of the 270 total reps. Emily Rolfe, meanwhile, and Bailey Rail are starting to move up. It's like Bethany is right past the 40 mark. Wells have got one more honor. So a lot of these athletes are sticking with sets of 20. Olivia Kerstetter starting to make up some ground as well. And Kerstetter has now moved ahead of Flores and Wells by a couple of reps. And now Wells taking a break. This middle portion, 100 wall balls, this is really the part where people should take their time a little bit. I know that sounds a little obvious, like, hey, don't go too fast here. But what you do here on the wall ball shots will vastly affect of what happens on the back half. We talked about the recipe of success is saving some for the turn. This is the turn portion. There's 20 pigs out there weighing 350 pounds with 10 reps to get to the finish line. Everything you do from this point going forward needs to set you up for success for those last 10 reps. Olivia Kerstetter back in third place. For more on her, let's go down to Nikki Brazier. I had a chance to catch up with Olivia before the start of competition. I asked her about her mindset and her feelings before everything kicked off. She told me that this truly feels like such an amazing opportunity and experience for her. And she's really just trying to soak it all in and have fun because really, you only get one rookie year. She is prepared though. She trained all summer with the Proven crew and had a lot of fun, did a lot of hard work with them. So she really felt ready to take this one. Right now, Olivia Kerstetter back in the lead through 164 of the 270 reps at the 185 mark. That's when she will head back to the pull-up bar and work her way back through the chipper, beginning with 50 toes of bar. And you'll see this with some of the athletes that have a maybe a bit more of a bias to a certain aspect. Maybe you're a stronger, bigger athlete. Maybe you're more gymnastics. The way this test shakes out in this chipper, 
is that you'll see some movement up and down with some of those more specialized athletes versus the one that have the best of both worlds. Sydney Wells, Bethany Flores, and Olivia Kersetter have been trading the lead here on this portion of this second test. And Wells only has now six remaining. It's a quick break there, which is five reps left. Yeah, not necessarily a bad break. But what we had coming out with the 25 chest bar and the 50 toes bar, now we're going 50 to 25. Big difference on the return trip to those pigs. Wells was the first athlete to make the turn. Kerstetter and Flores both done. Bailey Rail and Emily Rolfe look to be the next to finish. So your top athletes coming out the toes of our, we're doing about sets of 10, five sets of 10 on the 50 coming in. See, 235 reps, pardon me, Chase. That's what they need to hit before they move to the chest bar. Well, if you look at the technique between, especially Sydney Wells and Flores, is Bethany is basically just dead hanging from the bottom, and she has the flexibility and core strength to just pick those toes up with not a lot of movement, where Sydney Wells is quite the opposite. She has a nice, big swing kip, and it's not necessarily one is better than the other. It's which one is better for me as an individual athlete than the other. A lot of athletes using grips to protect their hands. And Bear Complex is giving viewers of the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games 20% off site one. You can to bearcomplex.com. And the thing of those grips, Sean, is that just grips in general, this allows you to hang on to the pull-up bar much better than just with your bare hands, which actually went into the reason why they had that grip change rule from semifinals to the CrossFit Games. Sydney Wells through 210 of the 270 reps. She's got 25 toes to bar remaining. Bethany is still sticking with that, that minor kip. And that kip could either be a product of that's what's more comfortable for her. And it also could be is that maybe for Bethany, when you get in that really big extended, hyper extended kip swing position, that might not be the best thing for her back. Olivia Kersetter back in the lead, chalking up her hands, left side of your screen. Now, Emily Rolf is starting to gain some ground as well. Rolf in the top five right now. Look at a big set of toes to bar. Don't sleep on Rolf. She, she won the 2021 test where it was the running and 30 toes to bar for three sets. So she has great endurance capacity, but also good volume capacity when it comes to toes to bar. There's Bailey Rail, who now sits in fourth place in this first of two heats. 235 reps, that's the mark they need to hit before you start your second and final set of chest bar pull-ups. Bailey Rail again, this is what got her to the CrossFit Games to begin with, was that final test in semifinals that had three sets of 20 toes to bar. And she had to basically win it outright, which involved sending three unbroken sets of toes to bar just to qualify to the CrossFit Games. So she definitely has a good capacity for high volume gymnastics. Bailey Rail has moved into a battle for the lead right now. Well, Bethany Flores is now on to the chest of bar pull up. She got through four reps before taking a break to chalk up her hands. And now Bailey Rail will start her chest of bar pull ups. And it's important for Bailey Rail to do well on these portions. That pig weighs 350 pounds. She's only 135 pounds. <laughs> I mean, Triple body weight pig flip. No, thank you. We talked to Adrian Bosman, competition director, yesterday about this test in particular. And he said a lot of people who tested this did very well 
until they got to the second set of pig flips and got pinned by the thing. It, that's a big part of this competition in general is that you got to look at what the critical element of the test actually is. It's not necessarily gymnastics, monostructure, or weightlifting as a modality that's the critical element, but a piece of equipment or a particular skill or some particular movement. We hear an athlete's got to the pig first and got capped by the end of this. So it's not about who gets there first, but how they got there in the first place. Well, Bethany Flores will get back to the pig first. And now here comes Bethany's running Bailey Rail. It's like Bethany gonna get a little more chalk on the hands. Dry off her forearms a little bit. Bailey Rail belting up. A lot of time lost on that. But for 10 flips and the amount of time it takes, it's a good move if, if you just need to have that. Well, Kerstetter and Rolf are now both done, and Bailey Rail has that first big flip done. Now Bethany Flores will get to work. Kerstetter belting up, and Emily Rolf walking down to the pig. Two down for Bailey Rail. Now Olivia Kerstetter getting to work. Far side of the field in the blue and gray. Matches up with Flores already. Flores has only got one in, and Kerstetter already hitting the second one. Olivia okay. Kerstetter continuing to work here, and Kerstetter is in the lead. Three women have started their final set of big flips. Bailey Rail in second, and Bethany Flores in third, and now Emily Rolf is on to her first flip. First center left side rail on the right. You can see Bethany Flores in the background there on the box on the left side of your screen. First center continuing to work here. She has five reps remaining. Shelby Neal, Sydney Wells, and Emma McQuaid are on to the pig as well. And Kelly Baker. She's on the top of your screen, far side of the field. And Kirk Stenner took one small break after the set of five. But what she's been doing now is that thing ticks over the top. She'll just walk up and put her hands underneath right away. It's almost like if you got a barbell where you're doing singles and you're not taking that step back, you're just staying flat-footed over it. It just helps them keep keep those rest periods short. So what you said at the top of the top of the test. Final rep for Olivia Kerstetter, and she is going to take heat number one. Kerstetter coming into time with 15 minutes, 49.36 seconds, as Bailey Rail right now is your leader on the field. Emily Rolf has now moved into third just ahead of Bethany Flores. I'm impressed with Bailey Rail. It hasn't been terribly fast, but it's been very consistent. And Bailey Rail up and over for her final rep, and she's going to take second place in this heat. 135 pounds, and she did a very nice job on that 350-pound pig. If you feel like trying this at home, drag your refrigerator outside and flip it around the street and see how that feels. Let's maybe unhook the water connection first. <laughs> Emily Rolf is now across. Third place for her in the heat. And Sydney Wells is making a bit of a move on Bethany Flores. This is the final rep for each of them, and Flores gets off first, and she will edge out Wells for fourth place in the heat. 1703.18, seven tenths of a second ahead of Sydney Wells. Shelby Neal is now the leader out there, and her pig is sideways. looking like it might go into the other lane, and she's trying to adjust it there as it tips over. And Ellie Turner in lane seven just completed her final flip, and Turner's going to get across ahead of Shelby Neal. Fisa Goffey is now your leader on the floor as we have just 20 seconds remaining. Sagafi with one flip left. One of the smaller athletes in the field for Fisa Goffey. She has got to be pleased with this performance. Well, she needs a good performance after what happened in test number one on Ryan. 
Nafisa Goffey's done and she's going to sneak in inside the time cap with about five seconds to spare. And that will do it. Olivia Kerstetter sets the time to beat 15 minutes, 49.36 seconds for the 17 year old. One heat remains. Olivia Kerstetter looking to pick up her first test win as an individual here at the CrossFit Games. We'll be back with more action here from Madison, Wisconsin. In